Uh, hey, it's Greg Dean. Uh, another question and answer session with my students. So I'll just go right in to open it up. Anybody have any questions? How do you convert what you say in a rant into joke structure and usable material? How do you take what you've come up with in a rant, uh, which is, by the way, for you guys, a spontaneous uh, you know, stream of consciousness talk on a subject uh, from a premise, uh, and then turn that into material? First thing you do is transcribe it. If you take, once you transcribe it, you get what you've said, okay, in there. Now, the next thing that I do with those kind of things is then I just go in the writing classes. Uh, if somebody comes up and does the, they write in, with the whole class. You have a script. And you go, okay, here's the first thing I'm going to say. Here's this first piece of dialogue. Then look through it. What's the assumptions? What can I compare it to? Uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? Can I turn that into a joke? <laughs> What I'm trying to say, can I turn it? Do I need to go back and write a setup for it that's positive so this negative thing becomes a punch? Right? And then I look for a tag. And then I look for a tag. And I keep looking for tags. As many as I can, as I can do. Okay? Because, again, not all of the tags are necessarily going to work. And then I go, okay, what's the next sentence? <laughs> okay, and... Uh, Oh, this is a pretty good, this is a good setup because it's positive. Okay, now let's write a punch for it that's negative. Remember, jokes go into two patterns, at least one-liners. Generally, they go from good to bad and bad to worse. So as you go through that material, as you go, you're looking for what's negative. Do I need to go back up and write a setup for it that's positive, that misdirects, that has an ambiguity in it that I can jump with, right, and, you know, connector. Or if it's something positive, what's something negative? And how's a negative way I can look at it? Okay. And then we try to tag it and tag the tag and tag the tag and tag the tag and tag the tag. The other thing that I do with that, remember those, uh, uh, those uh, special joke uh, tricks of the trade that I gave you uh, in, in one of the workbooks, which were look for all the acronyms. Acronyms have a, a set... Uh, a set, you know, uh, meaning, and then we make them mean something else. T T S A, totally stupid assholes. Okay. Uh, then you all, then you look for anything you you can define, like you with uh, uh, being a uh, a uh, rheumatologist. You know, we look for a way to define that. So, you know, uh, Jesuit. Jesuit means this in Latin or whatever. Okay, so. Those are two right there. The other, the other trick, if you remember, is names. Go through everything in there and look at names. I got a dog. I know, you don't have a dog. You have a dog with a particular kind of a name or a nickname that's funny. I went to a church. It's not just a church. It's, it's you know, one time somebody come in and said, you know, Mother Teresa, Holy God, and blah, 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 and we ended up with, you know, you know the, uh, the, uh, the suffocating church of Hulk Hogan. Okay. Okay, so, you know, and who, what, what were the names of the nuns, uh, et cetera, uh, you know, any of those, any name or nickname, you're looking for everything to have a name, because it's a spot that shows you where a joke is, okay, uh, what's the other, you also look for, uh, jokes are a comparison, too, so you, sometimes you kind of go, oh, my subject is this, uh, what can I compare it to? Um, so that then once you get that comparison, you treat this like that. You know, so if you're saying uh, relationships are like uh, hockey matches, ice hockey matches, and then you start going, oh, well, there's a timeout, there's, you know, uh, you, I can't think of all things, I'm not an ice hockey guy, but, you know, there's, a, you know, there's always fighting. A curved stick. Right, Shacking. there's a slap shot, there's a, you know, you start finding all the things that have a, have a connection with a relationship. There's a timeout, you know, there's, there's, there's always violence, <laughs> et cetera. Um, you know, and, and somebody, after everybody fights, somebody scores. <laughs> Boom, you've got, so you're looking for all those things 
it's a process of kind of collecting all those ways of taking what is not funny and turning it into funny and hope that it matches your message because sometimes you'll write a joke and it doesn't fit into the piece. It's a great joke, but it goes antithetical to everything else. Set it aside because in the future sometime you might find a way to do that as well, you know. And uh, the other third thing is collaboration. Collaborate. Get a crew, group of people together that will pitch ideas, positive ideas, with you. Uh, you, go, you know, if you go, ah, here I got TSA. What, what's uh, what's another meaning for instead of the Transit Security Authority or whatever it is? And bounce around with several people. Boom. Oh, I know. Three, you'll write three or four of them with other people. Oh, that's the funniest one. You know, DMV. We mess with it. Oh, that's the funniest one. But the point here is collaboration. You don't have to do it all alone when you get together with a group of people that you, that you trust that you can take the input with you because they're going to try to give you solutions instead of people arguing over what's funny and what's not Again, funny. Again, it's really important that you start to learn to go, I think this is funny, I'm, you know, get it, get it into joke structure and try it. And remember, when you put stuff up on stage, we cannot guarantee that an audience is going to laugh. The only thing that we can guarantee is that what we're putting up on stage are jokes. <laughs> they have a structure, every single one of them on the planet. Every place where there's humor, comedy, there's always jokes because there's always that structure. It's a very specialized form of communication. So that's what you work on when you're working on a script, taking it from a rant into a script is to go, okay, I've turned all these ideas into jokes. Now, let's go find out which ones work and which ones don't.